sticks in a bent or flex position, or you can feel or hear a popping sound when you straighten it, you're experiencing the symptoms of a trigger finger. What you're feeling is the flexor tendons that bend your finger, sticking as they move through the tendon sheath or covering, or get caught trying to move through one of the pulleys in the palm and finger. The typical treatment for trigger finger is a splint to rest it, and if necessary, a local corticosteroid injection to reduce the inflammation. The oval eight finger splint is a very convenient and effective way to limit motion without limiting function. Worn with the band on the top of the finger and the oval section on the bottom, you're still able to grip and bend part way, but not enough to allow the finger to trigger. It's always advisable to discuss any treatment with your doctor prior to wearing any splint. If you and your healthcare provider determine trying a splint is worthwhile, it's recommended that you wear the Oval 8 full time for two to four weeks or until the triggering has stopped completely. If after wearing the splint for up to four weeks, the triggering continues as soon as the splint's removed, we strongly suggest that you return to discuss alternate treatments with your healthcare provider. If you do have an injection, I also recommend that you continue to wear the splint for three to five more days to rest the finger and allow the injection to take full effect. Then, remove the splint during the day, but continue to wear it at night for a couple of weeks. Remove the splint, and if the triggering has stopped, put your Oval 8 in a drawer where you can find it in case the triggering starts again, or at least until you can be seen by your healthcare provider. Oval 8 splints are simple, they're functional, and they're effective. Fitting an Oval 8 can be done by your doctor or therapist, or by going to the website shown below and downloading the sizing guide and information on purchasing Oval 8s. Thank you.